Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So I have some bad news for you this morning, if that's you. You are a sinner. You have sinned and you've fallen short of the glory of God. You've broken God's law. You've lied. You've lusted. You've used God's name in vain. You've not always worshipped him the way you ought to have. You've sinned. And the wage, what you deserve, what you earn for that sin is death. And it's not just a physical death. It's a spiritual death. It's an eternal death in the lake of fire, an eternity in hell. This is what we deserve for the sins that we've committed against a holy, eternal God. But the good news is that even though the wages of sin is death, the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And unlike a wage, a gift is unearned. You cannot do anything to earn a gift. It's something that's freely given. And the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus came to this world to live a life of absolute sinless perfection. He fully obeyed the law of God on behalf of his people, never sinning even once. But he not only came to live that perfect life, he also came to die the death that you deserve. He took our sins upon himself on the cross. He died as a sacrifice for sinners. Isaiah 53 goes on to say he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed by God for our iniquities. Dying in our place. And then three days later, he rose again, victorious over death. And salvation is found in no one else. And so the question then is this, how do I receive this gift? If I can't earn it, how do I receive it? And the answer is so simple, by faith. By faith. Repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus Christ. And if you identify with this Ethiopian eunuch, would you do that today? Would you repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus Christ? And you need to know it's not enough to intellectually know that Christ died and rose again. The demons know that. You must repent, leave your sin behind, turn from your life of sin, and embrace the Savior and put your faith in him and believe in him in your heart. I invite you to do that this morning. If you haven't done that already, be saved. Be reconciled to God. I implore you invite you to do so this morning.